Hi everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you this pretty card. I'll show you how I made this pretty card. To make this card we need two pieces of white card stock, one for the inside, one for the outside, and a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored and folded in half at four and one eighth, and burnished. And two pieces of white card stock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Um, you also need a scrap of white to cut out this um, the sentiment. I have already cut out the tag, which is here, and that has come from humming along from this die here. So I've cut out a few in case I make a mistake and you also need a, a scrap of colour card just to fill in the holes there as I'm going to be using gorgeous grape here I used rich raspberry I'm going to be using gorgeous grape so I've got a scrap of gorgeous grape smallest bit I could find for the to fill that in. Uh, the stamp sets. Now I'm going to be using a few stamp sets. Put that over there. Right, first of all, I'm going to be using Humming Along for the sentiment. Wishing you an amazing birthday. I'm also going to be using Beautiful Promenade for the flowers. These two flowers. Love what you do just for that little tiny sprig there. Oh, so eclectic for the spots. No, sorry, that's waterfront. Sorry, waterfront for the spots. And oh, so eclectic for this leaf or leaves. Yeah. I've got more mounted need a scrap of white, scrap of paper to stamp off and with your white front you also need some masks which I have already got I've got three, but I don't need three, I only need two I had three because I did make this card in a 5x7, this is a, obviously a 6 size, but I made a 5x7 for my daughter. And you could get 3 on a 5x7, whereas this size you can only get 2. As it's her birthday next Tuesday, 22nd of January. Ah, I'm getting old. Right, with gorgeous grape and the outline of the stamp, I'm going to stamp this one to the left and up a bit. I need to put a mask over that straight away. Because we want to stamp another one. Oh no, 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 no. I forgot about the infills. With the infill. I'm sorry if you can see my head and my grey hair. But we need to... Get this in. And I think I've missed a bit because of the light. Oh no! It went in perfect. Right. Now we covered it. Now we put another one in. And we'll stamp that just there.
apply extra pressure where it's on the paper. Right, and then do the infill for this one. Right, same again, I have to reach over. Perfect. Only my stamps. And then mask that one off. Mm. Right. With Odd Olive and the Big Sprig of Leaves from Oso Eclectic. We're going to stamp off, stamp on, and then stamp again. Do the same this end, stamp on, and then over again. I'm also going to put some here, so we just stamp, stamp. And the same down here. So all we want to do is just cover the outside of the flower with leaves. And then with the small sprig of flowers, sprig of flowers, sprig of leaves from Love What You Do, we just full strength and put these round the outside of the flowers. Two together, put single ones, we'll put two here, a single one there, two there, and I also put one extra up here, but I try to attach it to another leaf. And there we are. I think I'll need some new masks if I ever make another one. Right, that's that. And then with Blushing Bride and the spots from Waterfront, stamp off and then just stamp some very faint spots just around the edge. All that's needed. Oh. Forgot what I was supposed to do then. What did I do on the inside? I did. Oh, then. Right. With the inside bit. Get a stamp because I never got it out. 
I use this one with the two little flowers on it. And that's this gorgeous grape. little decoration for the inside and we need that out right with our tag and the sentiment from humming but humming along wishing you an amazing birthday we are going to place that there Oh, that's good, okay. I did have another one already stamped just in case I didn't make it. So, and I had another spare one. Right. So, put that up there. Didn't want to go where I wanted it to go. With the card base brought in, we will attach our card. So, in front of a card. Pop it on. The day you actually see this card will be my birthday. Well, quite a pretty card for my birthday, I think. And glue, oh, glue. Income of it. Look at them. mucky pup. Right, with our sentiment and our scrap of gorgeous grape, let's just cut some off because we don't need all that. All I did to fill in that bit was just cut around the edge. You could actually cut out another one making sure you keep the innards in it the bit that pops out but then you're not always guaranteed it will stay in so that bit has landed on the floor. So I've got my two ends and see if they fit. I'll trim them down if I don't. Right, this ah I must have stabbed myself. Right, in the bin. Just as well I did too. Right, please be careful when you're cutting <laughs> and you don't cut your finger or stab yourself. 
Right, that one will fit in there nicely. Just need to trim this bit up a bit. And all I'm going to do is just glue around. that down. And then trim this one up to fit. That's a little bit big. Just put some glue on that. There we are. And now we're just going to put some dimensionals on it. Just put three on it. And this we're just going to pop not right at the top, but to the I'm looking at my hand, to the right of it. And there we have it. And I think that is a beautiful card. Be even better with some gems on it, wouldn't it? What do you reckon? I haven't put gems on this one. No, I won't put gems on it. I'll just leave it like that. Well, if you like my card, please um, subscribe. If you'd like to see more, please press the bell next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.